This is number two, the second of our uh, looks at the railroad shanty towns, which were the uh, places where the guys lived as they were building the original Pennsylvania Railroad through this area in the uh, early 1850s. They started around May of 1850. What the cursor is going back and forth on here is the, uh, the first of Michael Malone's sections. He had two sections. Each section was about a mile long. And this was called section 31, which was about, no, actually it was 32, which was 32nd mile coming out from Pittsburgh. It was uh, numbered coming out from Pittsburgh because that's how they were building it. And surveyors had surveyed it that way. Michael Malone was, by uh, the time that he got the contract for these two sections, he was 60 years old. He had been doing this stuff for quite a while. He had uh, a track record, if I could use a uh, pun like that. He was, um, as early as 1827, he was contracted by the state of Pennsylvania to work on their first the first railroad in Pennsylvania, it was the old public works that came out from Philadelphia and went out toward the Susquehanna and connected with a canal system going west all the way to Pittsburgh. And Malone, having been business, in business for a while, he had a good bunch of guys with him and, uh, and a good bit of equipment, and some of that we'll see eventually. This is a look at the uh, town of Greensburg once the railroad had already been built. But it shows Malone's two sections, not in completion, I mean not in, not in the whole in the whole length of the section, either one. This is the section we're going to look at today. This is 32, going out this way and a bit further. And then we'll look, another date, we'll look at the section going out this way. This is section 33. And it goes out on beyond the picture too. But they, they were split right about here, right about this section. This would have been Main Street, or actually, this would have been Main Street here. And this would have been about where they would split. And to build this, the guys had to live somewhere. They probably had a shanty town, out around Ludwig somewhere, maybe out around here. This shows the railroad from contemporary satellite view. That blue line is not a stream, that's the railroad. I put that in there just to indicate uh, where the railroad is running now. And it's what, it's what Malone's guys were working on in those several years in section 32. And they probably lived uh, they live somewhere around Ludwig. We're not sure exactly where, but it was in that vicinity. And their uh, their shanty town may have looked something like this. It wasn't it wasn't all that big simply because there weren't that many of them. The proximity to Greensburg allowed some of these guys to get housing locally instead of having to live in the shanty town. Uh, there were 35 guys living in the shanty town. And the main householder, the guy who was in charge, was the foreman named Murthy Malone, probably a relative of Michael Malone, the, the contractor. And the additional guys, well, it would usually take around around 60 guys to do a, to do a section, a mile long section of track. And the additional guys found housing uh, in places that uh, were probably for rent in Greensburg. But that, one of them actually shows up in the census, you can see. It's a uh, house of all immigrants from Ireland and they're all in their 20s and 30s. And most of these guys would have been in the same category. They would have been, uh, I think these guys ranged from age 20 to 36. They didn't get a whole lot older. Um, you would sometimes see guys in their 40s, maybe up to 50, but that was rare. It didn't last long in this, in this kind of work. It was tough work. This shows what they were working on. All this dirt, all this fill has been put there by these guys. This is, uh, you can tell by this tunnel having been put in, 
that this is sometime around or after 1910. When they built the railroad, they didn't put this tunnel in. However, they did put a tunnel in down around here, which you can no longer see. It was a tunnel that had to take the stream under the railroad. And we're going to see how they built those things. This is what I'm talking about here. This, um, this is the one that takes the stream under the railroad. The, the, the tunnel that takes the highway and under College Avenue was, wasn't built yet in 1901. This view is from 1901. And what we see here is the fill that these guys were building, the fellows working on section 32. And this is what they had to do when a stream came along because they, they couldn't let it uh, dam up there. They had to make provision for it to flow under the, uh, the fill they were building. And this is what they were doing. They had to make this fill come the whole way up to this level. And that is an awful lot of dirt to move with guys in these little carts pulled by horses and mules and guys were using scrapers and shovels and this is what we were looking at just to remind you this is Michael Malone's section 32 30, 32nd mile out from Pittsburgh of building the old Pennsylvania Railroad and that is it for this time we'll see you again